Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explain in details on to a need of inspections into field of an engineering. So let us start with some introduction part. So in case of the metrology, so basically this word it will be derived from metro that means measurements and logy. So it means science. So basically the metrology term is defined as a science of measurement. Or you can say that basically that will be dividing into the two categories. Either it will be your industrial metrology or you can say it will be the medical metrology. But here right now in the field of engineering how important or you can say there is a need of inspections into the metrology. So, metrology is the science concerned with the establishment or you can say something new developed things or you can say some process is being developed, some machine is being developed, some product is being developed. So, in same way it will be the establishment, then reproductions. So, by the metrology or you can say that measurement science or you can say science of measurement. You should know about the reproduction or you can say it will be having a production systems. So you need to measure that production system. You need to measure the final shape and size of the product or somewhere it will be the conversions and transfer of the units it will be required. So these all terminologies that will be used into the science of measurement. Then the dimensional metrology is that branch of the metrology which deals with the measurement of the dimensions of the part or you can say workpiece. So basically that part it will be considering as a raw material. Sometimes it will be the working process or sometimes you can considering as a finished product. So whatever it may be your raw material or your finished products. So the dimension measurement that will be the important part. So in case of the engineering metrology it will be considering as a lens angles etc. So these all terms that will be related with the measurement. So it will be including into the dimensional metrology. Then dimensional measurement at the required level of the accuracy are the essential link between the designer's intent and the delivered product. So whatever the requirement from the customers that will be designing by the designers and in case of the manufacturing. So as per the design it will be manufactured or not. So that will be need to be measured in the case of the metrology. So designer makes a design and the production engineer it makes the finished product. So at the final stage of the product it will be measured. So the dimensional accuracy that will be having an important part at the delivered product. So you need to measure that will be as per the designer's dimension or not. Then the some important point for the inspections. So basically nowadays all are into the mass productions. So you need to measure each and every things during the production from the raw material to the finished product. So basically the need of the inspections that will be to determine the true dimensions of a part. So that will be the first essential condition for the inspections. So whether we are selecting the dimensions that will be as per my requirement or not, you need to measure, you need to inspect. Then second thing, to convert physical parameters into the meaningful numbers. So whatever we design as per my requirements, it will be into the meaningful numbers. So you need to measure all the dimensions or you can say all the particularly process or you can say product wise. So that convert physical parameters into the meaningful numbers. So you should easily decide the acceptance or rejections of your components by the measurement of the dimensional accuracy of your product. Then to test if the elements are constitute the system functions as per the designs. So we are discussing that designers it will be makes the designs and the production engineers it will be makes the product with the different manufacturing processes 
But at the final stage, what happens? Our final product or you can say finished product that will be as per my design or not. So you need to measure. So that will be the basic need for the inspections. So whatever we decide, it will be physically developed or not. That's why. Then for evaluating the performance of the systems. So you need to measure the system performance. You need to measure the machine performance. You need to measure the particularly measurement instruments performance. So for evaluating the performance of the systems or you can say some organizations it will be also need to measure. Then to ensure the interchangeability with a view to promoting the mass productions. So basically nowadays all industries it will be work for the mass productions and due to that mass productions you need to measure you can say you need to assemble each and every part. So particularly for a single machines that there are different parts and these all different parts it will be manufactured by a different organization. So interchangeability that will be play a vital role. So each and every component of a single machines that will be manufactured at different organization, different locations and due to that interchangeability, it will be easily assembled at one place. So that will be the power of interchangeability or you can say that will be gives the ensurement or you can say that measurement or you can say inspections gives the ensurement of the interchangeability with a view to promoting a mass productions. Because there will be the no interchangeability, so that will be the not possibility or you can say feasibility with your mass productions. So interchangeability that will be play a vital role. That's why for good interchangeability of the into the assembly lines, so need of the inspection that will be the essential part. Then to establish the validity of design and for finding new data and new designs. So we're discussing that our product that will be as per my design or not. So for that establishment of the validity of the designs, you need to measure. Then to ensure that the part conforms to establish standard. So whatever we design as per the standards. So as per the standards, it will be manufactured. So at your final product or you can say final process that will be having a same standard. So by the measurements, you ensure that the part conforms to established standard. So now your product, it will be equivalent to the standards by the measurement. If you are not measuring anything, you should not say that it will be look like as a standard. Once you measure your dimensional accuracy of your components or you can say whatever your finished product, so you will compare with the standards. If it will be having the same readings, so you should know or you should give the ensurement regarding to the conformance to establish the standard. Then to meet interchangeability of the manufacturer. So that will be help for the assembly of the different component with a single machines. So you should prefer a mass productions or you can say into the mass productions that will be play a vital role. Then to maintain customer relations. So once you measure the dimensional accuracy or you can say the performance of your process. So that will be gives the ensurement regarding to your product. So the customers who are actually the end users of your product that will be believing in you. So by these relationships you should maintaining the customer's relationships. So you should make a one bridge between the manufacturer and the end users as a product. So that will be only ensuring by the inspections. If you are inspecting all the things, then and then you will give the certain good things to the customers like a warranty and guarantees, right? So customer will be believing into you. So to maintaining the customer relations, then to find shortcoming into the manufacturers. So that will be the also important part. Helps to purchase good quality of the raw materials. So inspection you should carry on to the any way. Like you can also apply for the raw materials. 
so whatever you purchase you should inspect it whether it will be as per my quality or not right then you can also implement into the working process or you can say after the finished product so whenever the requirement of the inspection you should go for that and generally that will be helps to purchase the good quality of the raw materials so basically that quality of the raw materials that will be depends upon my working conditions of my components so that will be the another theory is selection criteria of the raw materials so as from my selection material whether it will be as per my requirement or not so you need to inspect that then helps coordinate of different departments so that will be also helps then to take decisions on to the defective parts so as from the design considerations it will be gives the tolerance limit into the interchangeability or you can say into the manufacturing or you can say with respect to the dimensional accuracy so into the measurement if it will be within the limits so you will take the decisions so that component it will be accepted but into the measurement it will be out of the limit so that will be considering as a defective part so by the inspection you should take your component and whether it will be accepted or rejected so you should easily take the decisions on to the defective parts then if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorials thank you so much and keep watching